hello everyone welcome back to the channel today i will be sharing you small trip recording docker containers usually when you want to run a docker containers what we will do is docker run and then we specify some flags like minus e flag to specify any environment variables and you can specify the minus name hyphen hyphen name which will be the name of the container and if you want to specify like if you want to run the container in the background you can use minus d flag and finally you can specify the image of the container okay what will happen the container will run perfectly fine and if something happens with the container and went into the exit state will it will run automatically definitely not and what happens if your host machine got restarted will all the containers that were running previously will restart definitely not that's where the command restart equal to always uh, it's not a command actually it will you have to add a flag to the docker run then it will make sure to run every time your host mission or every time it's exited and it will make sure to run that container again okay uh, let's see an example currently i don't have any uh, one image which is already in the exit state let's remove this image uh, just eight five e3 uh, is it eight five e3 it's a three five sorry Three five six e three. Now I don't have any images running. Let's run an image. Uh, the image name is you can give Python three nine. And then minus d flag, which one I want to run it in the background, and then finally the image name. Okay, if I can go to the Docker PS minus A, you can see the container is up and running. The image name is Python 3.9. Okay, now let's see. Let's restart the host mission. Uh, instances. Let's reboot the mission. It's successfully saying it's rebooted. Let's close the container and re reopen the container uh, not the container actually reopen the terminal establishing connection earlier it was running maybe i have to see what exactly is happening here earlier our before it, our machine went to the reboot state our container was running uh, once we can open the terminal, we can see what is the status of the container that was running earlier. Ensure uh, network. Maybe it will take some time to configure the network uh, settings uh, after reboot instance. After you click on the reboot instance, Let's give some time. Maybe uh, reboot instance. No, I don't want to click on the reboot again. Let's go to the connect. I hope this time it will work. Maybe. Just hoping. Uh, yes, it does work. Now you can see. See your container went to the exit state. Earlier it was running before you restart your mission. Now it into the exit state. You have to manually restart the container again. Okay, which won't work for the production grade applications. That's where you have to use the restart equal to always. Okay. Uh, now remove this. Uh, Container also, we can run it again. C6 for it. Now, sorry, run the container with restart equal to always flag. Restart equal to always, and then name of the container Python 3.9. Then finally, you want to specify image 3.9 which will show now you can see that whether the container is running or not it's running the container is running perfectly fine now you can reboot your instance click on it reboot give some time because it might take some time to configure the network settings after your reboot instance because we haven't attached the elastic ip static ip or something it's just a private ip maybe it has to reassign oh, let's try to connect this time mm. 
No, jsem dva. Maybe. Refresh the page, okay. Then connect to the terminal again. Yes, this time let's see whether the container that was running earlier is running or not. See, it is running. Okay, that's exactly the restart equal to always flag to uh, make sure to use it whenever you require it. Uh, that's a small tip that I want to share you, with you today. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.